Okay, this is Andrew Abyss here. Um, this is um, uh, our materials that we uh, gathered together for uh, the yellow and black protest on um, well last Sunday, the uh, the thirtieth of, no of November. Um, sorry, I haven't um, posted a video yet, but uh, the thing is, on the day I was me and my uh, my uh, partner in crime, Dean, we were so busy getting ourselves organized and um, handing out materials and making sure they weren't blowing away and and um, you know looking out for people to accept our, our, our leaflets that we forgot to film anything <laughs> we did one photo at the end which is kind of kind of um, yeah it was kind of hokey outside the State Library of Victoria so this is the handouts we were giving out this a little A5 size with um, some very good sites there and links to well links to my movies and a short spiel about the Fukushima cover-up some pictures and a quote by Albert Einstein at the bottom so um, yeah I think um, what's intriguing for people is uh, the the image so we've got a couple laminated here this is this is our, our flagship image and that really got people thinking, or uh, got people interested. So people are, well, they're they're generally interested in pop culture, but they're all, they're also very curious. So the power of an image is um, uh, can really attract people to think about something differently. So an image with a, a message uh, is really quite potent for uh, for a lot of people because uh, people want to see something you want to be visually stimulated um, in the city in Melbourne uh, there's lots of things garnering for people for people's attention and two blokes with some colorful pictures and handouts is uh, can be interesting for people so um, a lot of people were looking they were curious if we took it as if they if they didn't want to take any of our material um, they know something is up okay so our job is to uh, this a Helen Caldecott article from The Age and uh, some postcards from the Nuclear Edge, you could say. Uh, so, what was I saying? Yeah, people um, are hungry for information. There is so much of it out there. But if we can focus it and uh, put it together cogently, then um, they can grasp uh, that something is going on. So I want to invite you all to um, to an event that I'm planning worldwide. I don't know if you can do it, but uh, we've got to keep throwing mud and hoping well, we know some of it will stick. Uh, we can't just, there's no silver bullet, there's no once-off event that will do this. Um, we're competing against um, a lot of pop culture, Christmas is coming up, so we've got to let people know that it's okay to care about uh, radiation because it's really it really hasn't hit you know, we can be right all that we want but uh, they people want to know something is popular that uh, other people care about it and then they'll they'll instantly change their mind so it's our job I guess well for me anyway to convince them that um, that this is uh, something that is important to this time this era so, what I'm proposing is a uh, an, is uh, to present a Fukushima exhibit uh, at a place of, of prominence in your town town squares. Now I'm planning this for December fifteen or the weekend of December thirteen. Oh, sorry, December fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Any any of those days. Now I'm going to call this. Uh, Kevin Blanche called this yellow and black, post ignorance, and that's awesome. I'm going to call this um, Fukushima Exhibit A. I'm calling it Fukushima Exhibit A because Exhibit A reminds me of a court case where we're, we're presenting evidence, uh, realia, images, recollections, pictures, articles to support our case that uh, something is very awry and there are some guilty parties who need to go to jail 
in a, in a court case. So Fukushima Exhibit A, that's what I'm calling it. And it's a challenge to um, for you to exhibit the evidence that you have uh, at a street corner, a place of gathering. If you can, if you can you know, get a banner together, professionally made or or not, it doesn't really matter. What, what I'm proposing is that people have a key image like this one, or uh, any of these, uh, along with uh, some sign writing, just on a piece of paper, an image. And the sign writing together can be very powerful and back it up with other things like a, it's like, it's like a postcard board with an article so people can sort of delve in further handouts so they can see uh, they can go somewhere with it linking to movies <laughs> uh, uh, sites and some uh, some mainstream articles okay so this is called Fukushima exhibit a you can call it anything you like but it's really a uh, this time instead of going to uh, a nuclear plant which is great uh, Fukushima Exhibit A is really about um, hitting, the, hitting the nuclear industry where, where people are so we, where people congregate and where they uh, can uh, have maximum exposure to the information they, you know, get numbers of people seeing a lot of people seeing the material um, who are on their way to Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping season is a great time because there are lots of kids and adults together. They can see the information uh, that you are presenting. So it's a real, really, what are the, <laughs> in, military in, in military terms, they call a target-rich environment. We want to, you know, get as many people as we can to see the evidence that we have in our, our Exhibit A. Um, you could call it uh, Fukushima hotspot, because this is what it is. It's a hotspot of information. So uh, I want you to consider joining me in this uh, follow-up to the post-ignorance yellow and black. Fukushima Exhibit A or Fukushima hotspot, presenting information to where people congregate, perhaps a, a large train station on the weekend, a town square, uh, a place of... Um, prominence of a, a hub you could say uh, to really follow up because um, there's no one event this is uh, we have a lot of online material about Fukushima which is great but we're really lacking on the street presence I think that's just my humble opinion so we have lots of uh, you know much watched videos like Fukushima Beyond Urgent for example uh, sites, um, Fukushima Facts, Miss Milky the Clown, uh, Hadrick Penry, uh, for example. We have all those great online assets, but we don't have enough assets on the ground. Um, and that's going to be a challenge for all of us to be out there as much as we can. It's, it's not an easy uh, thing to do, um, but uh, with uh, continuity even repetition just being out there people feel that something can feel that something's wrong that there's a, that um, um, you know it, it's really it has to become um, part of the lexicon as it were and when we're, we're not really like we're not really um, haven't generated that sort of status yet as as a um, as a as a street movement you know being out in the street being visible so um, Fukushima exhibit a an image if you can't get a, um, a, a, um, a you know a nice laminated picture like this, you know it, it costs some money. But um, if you can uh, get a, a B, you know an A3, perhaps with some color, perhaps you could um, those of you who are, who are graphic artists or even artists yourselves, a picture. There is a lot of really good pictures on on um, you can find on the internet, iconic pictures, whatever you know. Um, Sort of gets you, gets at you, makes you, that that uh, you think is provocative and, and evocative of the Fukushima disaster and the drama that it is, um, or the, the danger that it presents to the world. Uh, put it out there and um, make it your flagship image, and a big um, uh, iconic message. So uh, this is not, you know, perfection by any means. What I've got in front of me, but and uh, we. You know, for me, I really, I really want to hone uh, what I'm going to show it. Fukushima Exhibit A, 
on the Sigma 15. Um, so wherever you are around the world, um, you can get out there. Um, really sh uh, spread the message. Please join me in this Fukushima Exhibit A or Fukushima Hotspot, whatever you want to call it. Okay, thanks guys. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.